All right. He's here for Surf Blue. He's back. <laughs> I got a new phone and I had a heck of a time trying to get my old email back. So I had to give up half my life to show my ID and everything else. Yes, I still have an AOL account, email account, plus a Yahoo, plus a Gmail. So, <laughs> And I couldn't remember the passwords so anyways saying that <clears throat> I picked up something at thrift store I thought I'd share I shared with a few of the comic book collectors that are on my Facebook and before we start got trusty water I got back up tonight's snack Smoke almonds. And for a sweet tooth, uh, I took my dad to his barber shop and we cut up there and chit chat and talk about the good times and bad times and everything else. But the lady there helps out and she said, oh, You can have a cupcake. So that's your other snack of the day so that's saying that i sold um something nearby and in the deal i said how about you give me some money and can i get two can i get two games well she gave me a price to go with 10 bucks so these two are five bucks a piece so I never played this, but I did pick this up out and about and sold it. And they say the Watch Dog 2 is supposed to be good. So I got that. I'm always trying to deal and get a little bit more. That's how I am. So anyways, and before we get started on what I found from the 40s, I thought it was pretty interesting in a thrift store, but I was watching Roger's channel, Matt Matarock, thank you, <laughs> names are terrible lately, and he was showing Captain Canuck, so I came across these books, this one was a free comic book from 2000. 2000 May of 2015 Captain Canuck and that's free a little a little rough shows uh, some of the characters and what they could do so and I came across this other comic book number 14 50 cents. Oh, can you imagine? And this was number 14th, March, April, slash, because some of the comic books did do that. Some was monthly, some was March or April or June, July kind of thing. This was 1981. So. Yeah, I thought, yeah, I'll show this since Roger showed his finds of the Captain Canuck. Yeah, I might have to grab bi-monthly. There you go. See, I can't even say it too. Bi-monthly. <clears throat> but uh, I heard they might be a good read, too. I've never read this. I haven't read a lot of my comic books. I should just let Rod, uh, Ranger Sly or Roger read my comic books and get, a, get one of those, uh, what was those things called? Notes, cheating notes or something. <laughs> so, and I'll show this. This is a 1948. My grandfather had a car business, Bernard A. Rothgary. And it's interesting. I'll show you some, but I, I went. I went to uh, 
thrift store, taking some stuff there. I, sometimes I'll go there and check out and see what they got. And let me get some water. And uh, like DVDs or video games and stuff. And lately they, they haven't had any video games. That's where I picked up a NCAA football at this thrift store. Uh, I paid a buck for it. Turned around, made 60 bucks. I could have made more, but it was the NCAA, it was 14. So I want fast money. That's how I deal. I'll get bargains and stuff like that. I want to push stuff quick. That's me. So anyways, I'm walking out and this was on top of these books like this. I'm walking, looking at the cabinet and looked down and saw sad sack. It's like, huh, huh, back cover. Interesting. So I grabbed it and opened it up and it was published 1944. Now he came out with uh, 1942 was the, I think was the first on the comic strip. If I'm not mistaken, I probably have to look it up. It was Yankee something magazine or something like that. And uh, anyways, that's where it got started. And then I saw this hardback book, and it's like interesting because they did make. And I Found one comic book. I have more sad sack. It's rough looking. Um, this was May of 19. Oh, let me get my glasses. Hold on. I love how they do fine printing like everybody has great eyesight. May of 1968, volume one, number 20. It's Harvey. I watched a lot of cartoons. Harvey was a Casper. Friendly ghost. <clears throat> but, so I thought I'd say, look, I'll show this comic book. I wanted to show more covers, but uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six boxes here. And most of my comic books were at my friend's place so couldn't find anything so yes they made a comic book and everything so I thought this was interesting a hardback book and I looked one looked it up and the bad one had some junk on it that was going for five something I paid a buck for this and I thought this was kind of interesting this look uh, to find something like that in 1940 something 44 George Baker so it tells the introduction and then it goes on to illustrate let's see the physical is that the first one yeah how he got started sad sack medical board And he's going to try to get his uniform. Let me bring this up a little bit. <laughs> and the journey continues. So I thought that was a cool little find. And I probably could have turned around and sold this for maybe 10 bucks. Who knows? Uh, but I'm going to keep it because... Yeah, you know, like sad sack. Um, so I thought I'd share this. So while we're still in 1940s, my grandfather owned a car dealership. And uh, there's the. These are given to the business owners and stuff like that. 
on the advertisement. I thought this was interesting. Did not know this, but my great grandfather was the president of the bank. I know he had a blacksmith, a farm that he let someone run. He he lived in town of Grafton. Population. And uh had the gar car dealership. So look at look at this. Valerio and Rain, the population, 53, 313. Grafton was a thousand. That's a small little town. It doesn't have Valeria. That's, that's what's so funny, because Valeria was the seat. I mean, Lorraine was the big city, too, but Valeria was where I, I was born and raised. But Grafton Village Dictionary. So we go back. Wow, I flipped right to it. Roth Gary Motors Sales, Chevrolet Hudson Cadillac, Sister Bay. Well, <clears throat> here's the thing that's weird, crazy. Back then, the phone number was 51J2. You look up here, this phone number was 66. Ooh, that's. Bad six four. Maybe I shouldn't did that little uh, thing. Telephone three four three three. It's it was weird how they uh, had the phone numbers. And I think my cousin's in here too somewhere. That would be Illyria, but I didn't see Illyria. One well, of my cousins built my grandfather's house in Medina, Ohio. I like Medina, Ohio. But I heard it's traffic big time, especially the square. So, let me... Kind of interesting. My dad had all this little stuff. I'm going to show you other stuff my dad gave me. He also gave me some black and white Ranger Sly, if you're listening. He also gave me some rain, uh, Western pictures, too. Oh, yeah. The May Company. I don't know if, if you're from Ohio. May Company. But Ohio's largest store. Telephone. C-H-E-E-E-R-Y. Cherry. 3,000. Ain't that kind of weird to, <laughs> to have a number like that? And that company, I used to go shop, get my clothes there sometimes. I don't think my company is there anymore. So, yeah, I wanted to show this. So, I thought that was interesting. 1948. So that's it, and uh, this is the phone I got. My brother-in-law got for me at because of storage. I only had thirty-two on my last phone, so I needed more storage. So, so I got this, and it's been pretty good. It's pretty big, put in your pocket. So, I hope you enjoyed this little segment. And uh, I'll have some more stuff down the road. Some history stuff. Some Western stuff. Uh, I've been dealing with a bunch of pain in my leg and hip. So, I don't go out much. And then I have to drive Dad to go out to eat and stuff like that. And if you if it go to Longhorns... Uh, Man, it seems like every time we go in there, we haven't been in there for like three months or something like that. Or maybe two. And it's like, they raise the prices all the time. Uh, makes no sense. But anyways, surf's up, hang loose. And until we meet again, enjoy life.